Thank you for playing catchphrase. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, is, that, is that a game you, you guys uh, play before? Yeah, I play, yeah. I, like I said, I play with my sister. We drink a bottle of Hennessy, me and my sister. Yeah. Is usually uh, not a catchphrase, it's more like roasting people? Yeah. Oh, oh like, you just, got a big ass head, boy. Oh, like, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just do that. Because yeah. I, I saw, I, I watched a show and I saw you guys play a game uh, the, the other night uh, with, <laughs> and this is so you, it was, it was, you're playing with Jesus because he doesn't, Oh, yes. He doesn't recognize... Caucasian. Caucasian. Okay, yes. Yeah, sorry, yes. Yeah, white celebrities. Yes, yeah, he doesn't... He problems with that. He has... Yeah, you do. Because you... You know what it is? Because I have such a pure heart, I don't see color. So... <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, is that yeah. probably what it is? His, That's his, what it is. His soul is, his soul is colorless. You've yeah. been on my show five times, and every time you've called me Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every time I go, dude. I mean, we know I've been on your show. I mean, I, 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 I just don't see color, Jimmy. You really don't. I don't. But I mean, you name names, and he had no idea. No who, idea. Who also, he doesn't know names either. He's telling me there's a guy in Avengers called Chris Pine. I, I mean, I thought it was Chris Pine. Who can tell the difference between Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, and Chris Pine? Raise your hand. Yeah. One guy in the back. Yeah, the one guy. In the back. <laughs> and that's Chris Pratt's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I know my son. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, Robert Irwin here tonight. Have you seen a bunch of crazy animals backstage? No. We saw, yeah. but there's no, there's no Bronx animals yeah. or anything. What's, what you, like, like, what's a Bronx animal? Like a, like a pit bull in a Yankees hat or something? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> What? Just a squirrel on two legs? Like, <laughs> like a pigeon, a pigeon with one leg and a Newport? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when this was a nice city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rinse is high, you know? It's crazy now. Yeah. I miss Giuliani. Ball, the Yankees hat, oh my gosh. Uh, I gotta say, who was a. Uh, you were getting into Game of Thrones uh, the other me. night. Yes. Now, you've never seen the show before. I've never seen an episode of Game of Thrones before, and I thought, what better chance to start than now? Yeah. yeah. But you told everyone you're going to live tweet the show. I'm going to live tweet it, and I'm going to discover it at the same time you guys are watching it. Here's some of your tweets, just because it made me laugh. This says, uh, about to watch tonight's Game of Thrones, and I still don't know the characters, so I just want both sides to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it have to be a winner of the Battle of Winterfall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, it's like participation trophies. Uh, and this one just made me laugh, because it was a very dark episode. And this may, really made me laugh. This tweet said, how do you switch this show from night mode? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, was it just always that dark on the show? I have no, no idea what's going on. <laughs> it just made me laugh. They only had torches back then. Yeah, of course. In, in Westeros. In whatever time that yeah. was, yeah. See, Are also, you... I didn't even know that was the name of where it took place. I thought it was, like, upstate New York. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to cut? Are you going to continue to watch the I'm show? It's, fast, it's fascinating. That little baby face girl killed somebody. And yes. I was like, wow, this yes. is incredible. Yes. I have to find out who that guy was. <laughs> yes, yes, you should. <laughs> you got to go back, like, four seasons. That's a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about your show. Uh, you're on Showtime now, and you're going to two nights a week. That's right. Two nights. This is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Right. Monday and Thursday night. That's right. Yes. That's we're a big going, deal. Yes. We're going to DPU every week. Double production, bro. Double wow, production. Wow, wow, Double okay. production. Wow. <laughs> Double the production. Wow. Wow. Okay. What are you talking about, man? Come yeah. on. Wait, Mondays and when? Thursdays. Thursday night. Mondays yeah. and Thursday nights. Yes. Going, to well, double the production. You guys can do that, though. You, you've done... You've done uh, we used to do four nights a week. Four so nights two a week. Nights should be, two nights a week should be good. I mean, <laughs> it's two paychecks now, so that's cool, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Also, Showtime doesn't know that, but they just found out. <laughs> yeah, they just found out now. <laughs> hey, Dave. Uh, you're doing great. Uh, is it... Well, why'd you decide to do that? Just because uh, the show's doing well? The fans wanted it, man. It was like, it. you know, when you read reviews of your show and, like, the only negative review is like, we want more of this. It's kind of a good review, so it's yeah. like, okay, yeah. Congratulations. I'll sacrifice my life and my family and for your laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> but you, uh, you said that uh, your, your, your parents said that they don't believe that you have real jobs. Well, now, now, now they do. They do? Now they mm -hmm. do. Oh, okay, but back when you were doing... It was more, yeah, they were like, eh, and then I let my mom five grand, like I told you before. Yeah. And she was like, okay, now I kind of believe you, you know? <laughs> All right. It's kind of true. <laughs> and then she saw a billboard, and she was like, oh, okay, I guess, like, if you're on a billboard, I guess it's a real job. Yeah, my, par <laughs> my parents came around because they saw, last time we were on your show, they were like, oh, wow, you're on Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Like, very wow. casual. It was like, yeah, Jimmy's cool. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, then, the that's... first name basis, they was like, wow, you must really be famous. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was no, like you know, he gave us pickles, right? Yeah, we hang out with Jimmy all the time. We go to Yank Sox games. Yeah, that's nothing. Uh, I gave you, I did, I gave you, because I was into making pickles. Are you no longer into making pickles? No. Was that a phase? It was a fad I was going through. It was a real rough, rough patch. Did I, did I offend you when I was just like, that's the whitest thing I've ever seen? And you were like, no, you didn't know? offend me did at all. But we were talking about stuff I wanted, because I was very excited about it. And I really worked hard on the ingredients and the idea of pickling and the science that goes into it. I gave you each jar of homemade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which were delicious, by the way. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. You I did eat them? I had them with a tuna melt at 3 a.m. stoned. Woo! Delicious. Thank you, you're good. Thank you. Delicious. Well, I gave them to you and you said, dude, 
like that is the whitest thing anyone's ever given me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> to this day. But then, but then I went in the green room and you gave me UGG slippers. So you went up to yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's true. But then They're last time you were here, you gave me chopped, chopped cheese. Yes. Chopped With cheese sandwiches. Yeah. Dude, you remember this, that? Yeah, life definitely. Changing. Uh, it's life changing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I love that. So, all right, good. We gotta. Yeah, you can get mad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chopped like... cheese, Philly cheese steak. Woo! Yeah, I said it. No. Just oh. <laughs> <laughs> say no. Uh, can we talk about when you were out with Cory Booker? Because when you see oh, yeah. what you wow. guys do yes. in the shows, all the, sometimes you do remote pieces, mm -hmm. and you played a little basketball with Cory right. Booker. Yeah, a Corey little. Cory Booker cannot be president of the United States because he plays dirty basketball. That's right. I'm putting that out there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He gave me a hard foul on the ribs. He's the Kevin Garnett of politics. Okay. <laughs> he's pretty good, huh? He's good, but you know what? He has I an old man game. He has a yeah. So we also yeah. have an old man game because yes. we don't play basketball yes. whatsoever. We no. almost died on the court. Yes, that's really? true. Really? Yes. Yeah, I, I haven't mean. run across an entire gym since 1999. I haven't played basketball since the Knicks legit had a championship chance, and that was like what 83. <laughs> so oh my gosh. maybe, maybe, maybe next year. No. Maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. That's what the NY Knicks stands for. Next year. <laughs> wow, maybe, wow. Next year, maybe next year. They got it next year.